my Hello, everyone. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, we are going to draw something really fun. I think you would like to eat this. Well, maybe not the drawing, but I think you'd like to eat a chocolate bar. <laughs> so we're going to learn how to draw a chocolate bar today. And we don't need many things to learn how to draw that. All we need to use are a zigzag, an arc, a line, and either a rectangle or a square. It could be it could be a rectangle or it can be a perfect square. Either either will do for this. And we are going to take all of that and put it together and build a chocolate bar. And then we're going to color it in. And you can make some magical chocolate bars. You can have them all sorts of colors. And speaking of color, as always, you should use any drawing material that you would like to use. But if you want to explore new art materials, I'm going to be using a marker. So it's nice and easy for you to see me draw. But you could use uh, a crayon, or you could use a pencil, or a colored pencil. Or I have these new art materials that I'm going to share with you. Of course, you probably have them already, but I just got them. I got oil pastels. These are going to be fun to use. And then I've got my trusty paint sticks, these temper paint sticks. These are great. I've got a whole new set of those, so I won't have any problems with the colors running out anymore. And my new absolute favorite drawing materials to color with are these gel crayons. They are so much fun to use. So we're going to get a chance to use these today. So use whatever you are comfortable with drawing, but try to explore new art materials. And this is the perfect example of that because I never tried these gel crayons before but I tried them recently and I really like using them. So this is a new art material for me. Okay, let's get our paper out. I'm gonna put my reference drawing over here. You can see from our drawing here that we're going to be drawing the chocolate. This is the bite. And then down here is the wrapper, okay? So get your paper out and your drawing material and let's get started. First, we're going to start right about here on the paper and we're going to draw a line. And the line will go down like this and stop it right about there. Then we're going to draw another line. It's going to go over here and stop right about there. Okay. Next, we're going to draw another line. Now we're going to leave a space here. And I think I know you know what that's for. But we're going to leave a space here and we'll draw another line right about here and have it go down. And it should be roughly parallel to this line over here. If it's not perfectly parallel, that's okay. And parallel is when two lines are the exact same distance apart and they follow the same direction. Okay? So we have a straight line here, our line here, our line at the top, and now we're going to use that zigzag. So down here, we're going to start here and we'll go zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. And then on the bottom, we'll start here again on this side, right where that line starts. We're going to go below it though. And we'll go zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. And we'll end it right where the other zigzag line is, right there at the corner. Okay? So now that's where our wrapper is all peeled down and bunched up. And then we're going to continue with our line. Don't draw through the wrapper. We're going to continue here. And then we're going to draw the base, the bottom of the, uh, of the chocolate bar. So this part still has the wrapper on it. We're going to draw a line down this way. And notice that it follows the same direction all the way down right here. And we're just skipping this part here. And then we're going to make a turn and we're going to do another line at a right angle this way. And then we will continue down here, skip over the wrapper and then draw the line straight down to that corner, make that corner there. Okay. 
Next, we are going to draw those squares or rectangles, okay? So let's start here. We'll do one, two, three, four. Now friends, if you are, are falling behind and you're not drawing along with me here, feel free to pause the video and then you can catch up. There is no one saying that you have to draw really fast to keep up with what I'm doing. Okay, you can always pause the video and start over again, whatever you're comfortable with, okay? Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And now this one's going to be a little tricky because we want our bite mark to be over here, but we don't want to draw the whole square or rectangle. So we'll do this. We'll start here. And we'll come down and then over and then up and stop so that there's an opening there okay and now we're going to use the arc and we'll go like this and then we can make different size arcs because we have different size teeth so we'll have one this way this way and sometimes if you look at your of a bite if you bit into a chocolate bar and you know this is this is reference you should take the opportunity to bite into a chocolate bar and look at the bite mark that you make. So if you have a chocolate bar, ask permission to see if you can have chocolate and then take a bite and see if, what that bite mark looks like. And we're just simplifying that with arcs to make it look like a bite, okay? So here we've got this chocolate bar that we've drawn. Let's take a look at that right there, All right? I always have a problem with where to put this picture it always goes right in front of my face. Mr. Mike's a chocolate bar. So now we're going to color this in. And I am going to make this look like chocolate. So I'm going to use brown. But I'm going to use different shades of brown to make this look like a chocolate bar. And then we'll pick what color wrapper and we'll make the foil a color. Um, but let's see. Now I'm going to test out my colors to see what color browns I have. So you can do this too. You can get a clean sheet of paper. And if you ever want to see how dark or how light a color is, you can just use a scrap piece of paper to do that. So right here, I'm going to color in the brown. So I know that this color, this gel crayon makes that color brown. And then let's see here, I have a, well, let's use an oil pastel. I have an oil pastel brown, and that makes this, see they're different. They're both brown, but they look a little different. And then I have a marker brown. And let's see what this looks like. See, this is very dark. So all three of these art materials are brown, but what they create, what they put on the paper looks different. So I want to be sure that I use, I make the right choice for what I want to show. Now you draw with whatever you're comfortable with. I'm going to use the gel crayon first because that one is the lightest. So I'm going to put the lightest color first. Let's move this out of the way. This over here. So I'm just going to color this in. You can color however you want. I'm going to go in between these rectangles. And you can go in any direction. There are no rules when you're drawing with Mr. Mike. We don't have to go all in one direction. We can go in any direction we want. If you want to go in one direction, I'm okay with that. It's your artwork that you're creating. Now, I am not pushing very hard with my gel crayon, and you can see it's making a nice and even 
color all the way across the paper when I, when I color with it. Now, if I push a little harder, I bet you it'll get a little darker. Look at that. And now I can go around and make it a little darker if I want. Or if I want, I could, let's try and mix it up. Let's use that oil pastel, okay? Now we're gonna color in the rectangles with the oil pastel. Oh, this looks like a yummy chocolate bar. I don't think I should eat this chocolate bar though. Maybe I should go downstairs and see if I have one I can have after I finish drawing this because it's making me want some chocolate. Maybe I will. Although, I don't think I have any chocolate bars downstairs. I think they're my boys. And if I take those, that would be, that would not be nice if I took their chocolate bars. Maybe I'll wait for them to get home from school and I'll ask them if I can have a piece of their chocolate bar. I'm sure they'll say yes. And then they'll ask me if they can have some too. And then we can have chocolate together. Okay, so we're almost done coloring in the rectangles. And there we go. Now, what about the marker? Because it is a different, it is brown, but it's a different color. It's a darker brown. It's a different type of art material. If you want, you don't have to do this, but if you want, you could go and outline over the purple or over your line, whatever you used to create your drawing. Maybe you already used brown. I'm going to go back and just outline over top of the purple and make it the dark brown and that's going to give it a different look. Just like that. I'm not doing anything different. I'm just tracing right over on top of the purple. You'll notice if you use marker on top of crayon Sometimes if, it, if you can't get to the paper part of it, it doesn't, it doesn't color in because it's like a waxy material that the crayon is made of and the marker doesn't really stick to the, to the crayon. There we go. And now that's outlined and now we can color in the wrapper. So the, the inside is usually, usually is, is gold or silver. And I wonder if I have anything similar. Oh, I have a silver right here. I have a silver um, oil pastel. I think I'm going to use this for him here. Let's fill that in. And if you go in different directions, then it kind of looks like, you know, when you take, um, uh, this is foil or aluminum foil and you crumble it up. If you crumble it up, you get all of the different wrinkles in it and different folds. And if you color in different directions, you can kind of make it look like that. Like it's all crumbled up and wrinkled. Now, I don't know why, but I always think of red when I think of the wrapper outside. It might be because of the type of chocolate bar that I like to eat, but I'm going to make the wrapper red. You can make the wrapper whatever color you want because this is your chocolate bar that you're drawing. Okay, but I'm going to use red and I'm gonna use this gel crayon right here. Another cool thing about these gel crayons, they smell, this one smells like, actually it doesn't have the, what it is on here. It's like a, a berry, a berry smell. It smells so good. Maybe that's why I like using them. And they're really, they're really fun to draw with in color. Okay. There we go. That, my friends, is our chocolate bar. 
Cut. There I go again. I put it right in front of my face. There's our chocolate bar. We drew a chocolate bar today. I hope you enjoyed drawing a chocolate bar with me today. And if you'd like to see more drawings like this, you can go to my website, drawwithmrmike.com. And if you'd like to share your artwork with me, you can. there's an email address on my website that you can have your parents take a picture of your drawing and send it to me. And we'll put it back here on the backdrop behind me, or I'll share it on social media, on one of my social media channels. Thanks so much for drawing with me today. I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah.